and it's nobody. Exactly. It's Cassiopeia, Cassiopeia almost. really hard. She's going to have uh, not only her counter engage <laughs> ultimate, but double escape summoner spells and a whole big tank line. Yeah, the game's about to go live, ladies and gentlemen. So head over to Twitter and cast your vote for who you think is going to come out ahead. Tweet the hashtag FNCWin or the hashtag AHQWin to at LOL Esports, and we will try to tally up your vote shortly. Early on, already making a move down bottom lane. So as you said, uh, not heading to the mid. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't want to be there at all. Steelback might be in trouble. Oh! Up here as well. He's going to flash out of the way, but he's burning down. Terra was taken early, but he's going to die. And it's going to be Albus taking first blood. AHQ did not disappoint. Early moves. Sneaky tunnel through the dragon, and he gets in behind the bottom lane. Oh, will he have the knock up there as well as the Prey Seeker comes through? Nice death sentence from Albus there, and he's actually going to get steel back again and picks up the kill this time. Another knock up under Yellowstar, and AHQ, they want that thing. Oh! Going, going so oh! Oh! Do it. The flash, Prey Seeker. Awesome, le yeah, awesome really gank path and, and jungle path overall by Mountain. Gets to donate a blue buff over, and Saber's gonna have such an easy lane down here. Oddly enough, and recalled for Boots 1 as part of the laning phase, but Rainier was coming mid. Yeah, and that's the playful trickster on cooldown here as well. Westall trying to kite around, but so much persistent damage, and Rainover, he's gonna pick up the kill. Oh, his heal is back up. For Steelback, he's got a little bit of good news. Yellowstar's only two, though. I don't think he even has a point in shield right now. It should be Anchor Toss and the E. Will they get Yellowstar? There's level three for him. Here's the engage, and Knight comes on. They go right for Steelback, and down goes Urgot. Immediately, Albus flashed away at the right time, but Mountain oh! will die as well. The heal was so close as Yellowstar might still be in trouble as Westor's found his way around here is the end, tanking up the turret. Yellowstar going to go down. Albus just auto attacks for the kill. Bloodthirsty supports. Thank goodness that was here to appreciate it. Uh oh, here comes Rain over there. Let's see what he can pick up. He's level five with flash goes in, knocks a ton of damage on Albus. One kill picked up. Now on the Westor. Can't quite get oh! the double. The flash isn't enough either. That's a worth it for AHQ. Why did we ever doubt Westor's fizz? I, I'm, I'm saying it right now with Silly. They're bringing out the classic HQ. Early kills of adding Mountain to this team. Been a huge benefit. Let's see Huni, Huni coming in with home guards. Yeah, looking to try and get in the backside here. Nice ultimate there from Rainover as they lock down Albus. He's got a lot. Oh! Is he going to escape the ignite ticking? Oh! Oh, sticking and grabbing a zip now. In a whole lot of trouble after the teleport, but he flashes to safety. Westor thinking about coming down, but don't think he's going to get there in time. And the problem is all these West Door roams, you can see a mini wave crashing into his turret and he's zoned From Fnatic, they've got Urgot on his tier, plus Urgot's been kept down. So this is a really non-factor AD carry in the bottom lane. And the mid lane, uh-oh, here comes the teleport though. Back off cooldown, here comes Hooney. Yeah, Alba's actually player. flashing, trying to flare Hooney out of it, but Anne is going to get the damage. the onslaught of shadows as Hooney's going to take down Albus, but Anne makes it to safety. That's a kill on the support. That bottom lane goes heavily in favor of HQ, along with the bottom territory. Here goes Yellowstar, though. Yeah, Level Boomerang six. flashed out of the way up there as well as Dredgeline going to save Yellowstar for now, at least, as Westor trying to put pressure on the flash into the Urchin Strike as well. There's the fish down. And oh! Westor with the solo kill mid. Taking huh. advantage of both summoners down. Uh, utilize the Sight Zone from Rek'Sai. Sight Rek'Sai, by the way, very confident in the invade oh. because of the passive. Rainover could be in trouble here. Nice use of the ultimate as Hooney's going to come through with the ult there as well. Fibiven looking to try and get amongst it. Ziv, though, just takes down Rainover. He's getting ignored in this one as Mountain. Uh, advantage for Rek'Sai is supposed to go early on in the game. Albus going to get some deep vision of his own down and... Yeah, Westor just getting delivered a kill here on the back of an Earth as Yellowstar going to get taken down with the help of a red buff for Fibiven. He's going to force him to take a lantern out to safety. Mountain, though, may have found him. He steps out of the side of the old as Rainover comes through, trying to protect him. Steel back in trouble. And all of his... Oh, the hook is massive. In comes the cavalry. Steel back. Forced to run away. Turns his back to the team. And the kill comes in. These fights keep trickling in over and over. AH2 gets the <laughs> kill. Rainover gets a red buff steal. And a lantern pulls the red team out of the fray. Because they want to get towards number five as quickly as possible. But that's happening for them. They've moved their dueling to the mid. Oh, Hootie coming in onto the back lane. Great spell shield by Anne. The fear not really going to do much either. Oh, and a massive hook from Yellowstar, forcing Flash the way. In comes Mountains in to pop out of the molehill. Look for Hootie, look for Febivin. Half HP down to 200. The re engage 
center hold Rack Slide forced to flash away. In comes the oh, shark. In comes oh. Westor from the back door. Takes one down. Alpha is gonna get stunned up and as well can steal back, find anything. Ziv has joined the fight right now. He's meeting now, but he's not far away from growing now that one out of proportion. Rain over goes down as well. Steal back the swap's gonna miss no as damage. well. Four oh. kills coming through. A double for Anne. Four kills overall. AHQ crushed the team fight. Fnatic have no damage to finish anyone on. A HQ are going to easily get this by Albus, but you've got a two item AD carry getting to hit for free onto everybody. That's how team fights are going to go when Sivir just gets to attack you. Oh, we're still going for the 1v1 oh. on Hooney here in the top lane, meanwhile. And it the, hit it. Hooney's so he's strong, he's on Hacker room here. Rampage doesn't land. Albus looking for it. Whoa, Whoa. goodbye. Breaks through and he gets it. Can try and chain their CC. During a tower dive, they'll have the extra DPS from a turret yeah. to make up for their low DPS from the carry. Uh oh, here comes the tower dive though, but yeah, they don't Alex have Dye, the members. He's gonna go down. Mountain's gonna pick up that kill. Hooney just gonna look like he threw him out of that fight. Of course, took the lantern. And Hooney just watches his support die. HGO don't give you the time to set up the five-man defense for the tower dive. They jump the gun and grab a kill. Very nicely done by HQ. They're keeping a decent amount of wards up overall. Albus and Ann. Or he could run through the base. Let's see how long he can get away with this. Yeah, Mountain looking for the knockoff, and he finds it here as well. His devastating charge has, in fact, ran out. This could be some Benny Hill music needed as AHQ go for the chase. Well, if they give him too much time, he could always teleport away for four seconds. Hooney has the ult up as well. And charge on the mid lane, knocks the turret <laughs> down for his life. Hooney gets caught and kills a turret for it. Holds over the wall, still on the run away. But careful, once Ziv hits him, this guy has a frozen mallet. That will be a dead pony. Turns him into glue. Westor is dominating. Oh, oh. So, a okay. very easy yeah. push here from AHQ as they knock on the inhibitor doors. This has been a shutout here from AHQ. They've gotten every neutral objective in this game. They've only lost two turrets. That's the objectives that they've lost on this map. They're Almost great. They, yeah. As we said, they're great at snowballing these early leads and these early fights. Yeah, Huni looking dive. for something, though. It's a decent land to try and get Anne to safety. He's trying to escape from this horse who's trying to do some work in the back line. But for Biven, he's in trouble. But Dan manages to get a beautiful ultimate. And there's West. Oh, Ziv actually trying to do some work. Albus in the backside trying to peel for Anne. As this is on so many fronts, but AHQ just win it everywhere. Four for zero, one last kill will be Yellow Star. Westor, why not pad the KDA? Plus one to you, sir. Nar gets the kill, but either way, it's gonna be an inhibitor turret going down on this one. Ziv taking it about as long as he's able to. <laughs> yeah, that's about as long as you can do it. They'll be able to finish it. Will Mountain die in the process, Ooh. though? No, 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 he's fine. That's how you juggle turret aggro, guys. When you're very, very aggressive as a team, you learn how much damage you can take from a turret. And they're going to take an inhibitor from that one as well. The mid lane inhib goes down. I'll try and contest the Baron, but HQ, they don't even want to give him any breathing room here. Continue fighting. Yeah, there's the death sentence to land, but Rainova is going to use that Arctic Assault to escape. And HQ with three members are going to try and take Whoa. that. Whoa! Bibbon gets destroyed as he tries to yell at them as Fnatic now trying to start a fight, but there are men down. Albus and Ann just going to be taking down the bottom lane. They're taking every objective on this map, and Fnatic, they can't do anything. They're splitting the team up, and they're playing unafraid so far. None of the engagers from Fnatic are working. Oh, they the are back. back on in. Here comes the knockups. Bounce house in the day in the base right here on AHQ. Pick up two kills up that one. Force the flash away. 5v2 now inside the base. This could be the Nexus blowing up very shortly. AHQ going to crush this one. Yeah, the Nexus turret's falling down. The Nexus going to follow 24 kills to five. And AHQ, they win the aggression battle. Brings them up tied with Fnatic in the standings, yeah. one and one.